there are certain uh, uh, yeshivas today that they still only instruct the students in Yiddish. Um, is that a Mila? Is that a is there is that a positive thing? And does the rabbi think that we still need to do that in 2024? The reason they do it is because a language that Jewish people speak and other nations don't speak has a certain holiness to it. The Jews are a holy nation, and our power of a speech is what separates us from animals. That we can't speak, we speak. So we want to uh, keep our mouth and our uh, talking uh, power holy. So we use it for a language that only Jewish people speak, and therefore it's considered a holy language because Jewish people are a holy nation. They only talk about holy things. So that's the reason if they learn the Torah, which is holy, they feel that keeping it holy at, 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 as, as, most, as, as much holy as possible by using a holy language. And uh, it, so therefore it's written in Hebrew, which is holy language, and they want to translate it to Yiddish, which is a holy language, and that's the purpose they do it. The problem is that the kids are not so fluent in Yiddish, and uh, to teach uh, uh, Hebrew, which is a foreign language to them, and use another foreign, foreign, foreign language to translate it into, it makes it very difficult for children to, to learn that way. So therefore, most educators today say that uh, if you are in the household, they speak Yiddish and your kids are fluent in Yiddish, that's one thing, it's okay. But if they're not fluent in Yiddish, it's, it's like translating Japanese into Chinese. You can't, uh, it's, it's too hard for them to learn two languages at one time. So that would not be uh, advisable to, to teach uh, kids Chumash, which is Hebrew, and to Yiddish, which we don't, they don't understand the Hebrew language. They have to learn both languages. Some, some places learn translate into both, into Yiddish and English. But it's difficult for a child to pick up two languages at one time. So more and more educators are uh, uh, teaching in English and not Yiddish anymore. And uh, that's the reason for it. The reason why they do it, the reason why they don't do it. But uh, certainly you cannot sacrifice the uh, fluency and the understanding of Torah just with learning in Yiddish. If the kids are not going to, won't understand it as well, it's not worthwhile learning in Yiddish, even though it's a holy language. But since it, we want to, the, our students to have a good idea, understand the Torah, you have to learn it in the language that they understand the best.